Hey guys, Eastern Block Airsoft here. Today we're going to be doing the video on where to get your Soviet military at. Like the last video, this is just going to be kind of going over where to get your military online. I got my kit off of a website called sovietpower.com, but there are lots of other sites which we'll go over. So before we start, I want to say that this isn't a World War II uniform. This is a Cold War uniform, specifically the M69. We'll start with the uniform itself. This is the M69 uniform. This is the one that was introduced in 1969. Um, the World War II ones are slightly different and you can tell as the buttons don't go all the way down to the bottom So it's like uh, the bottom is connected here, but there's buttons on top and then the collar is Turned up basically so there's no folded down collar. I got this on a website called sovietpower.com and I paid $50 for this you can usually find it cheaper it's around that price usually. But what they do on the website is they show you the whole uniform and that includes the helmet, the Y straps, everything that goes on the Y straps and it says $50. And you think, wow, that's a really good price. But in reality, it's just, they're just showing $50 for the top and pants. And you can add on the other things, such as the Palash Balatka, the mag, the Y straps and the helmet, and such like that, um, for more price, but add, it slowly goes up, and eventually, if you were to get the whole thing in one go on that kind of website, uh, it'd probably end up being around $300. So just watch out for that. The helmet here is the SSH-68. SSH um, I got this with the uniform. I paid I paid forty dollars for this, which I have been told that that's ex more expensive than I can find it. Which way's front? That's forward. So, yeah, I would go to either eBay or you can get it with the set like the rest of the uniform. But I'd go to eBay. You can usually find them cheaper. When searching for equipment, I would go to eBay. Um, specifically on eBay there are certain some people will sell the belt the Y straps the mag pouch and everything that will go on a Y on this Y straps as one kit and usually it's around $80 ish which is a little expensive but that's around the same price for everything and I'd look for just get the whole kit together and it's probably gonna be cheaper than you'd pay just by itself if we focus in on each piece though, this is the Palash Palatka, which I bought for $30 on eBay. The canteen was um, like $11 also on eBay. The mag pouch was $20-ish. The, the grenade pouch was oh, 10-ish. And then the belt was 20 and the Y straps came with the uniform without the belt, which was kind of strange for and you can usually find the belt and the Y straps together for 20 ish dollars so when you all add that all up it's well 20 20 40 70 around 90 dollars all of just the Y straps mag pouch grenade pouch plus Balotka, and the the um, canteen so I would go look for those sets when they do it all together and you can get a much better deal there are quite a few places where you can get um, Soviet uniforms. Just watch out that they tend to be priced up because they're Soviet uniforms. And when people are like, hey, I want to get an Eastern Bloc uniform, they just think Soviet right away. And so that's why they're most popular and they tend to be priced up more than, say, the East German one. A couple of websites to check out are one, sovietpower.com. They sell basically like all the Soviet uniforms you could ever wish for and modern they have modern Russian military camo they have RKKA or like the Red Army they have M69 uniforms officer uniforms they're they're a really good website to go look for your Soviet stuff just watch out for what I was talking about with the like the low price that just slowly adds up 
Um, another website to go to is Soviet Military Stuff. They are a similar website with a sm slightly smaller inventory. They have just like mostly Soviet like M69 and like World War II type uniforms. Um, again, eBay, a good place to go. Look for your, basically everything you can get on eBay for usually the right price. eBay is kind of a wild card. Um, Etsy is good, okay. Like I said in my last video, um, Etsy, you should watch out for people overpricing uniforms, but you can also find pretty good deals of already pre put together uniforms. So if you don't want to like go through all the process of buying each piece by itself, you can just get the uniform with the helmet, the like the uniform itself, the equipment and everything all in one and they, they tend to be pretty expensive but not as expensive as they would be if you were to be put them together on one of the uh, websites that I mentioned like sovietpower.com. If you already have an Easterman uniform or a slightly cheaper uniform you're going to definitely notice that this one is way more expensive. This is an Easterman uniform for the whole kit was is somewhere around 150 to 200 ish dollars if you're going to just do like the basic kit. This one's around three to three fifty, so you, yeah, you're gonna end up paying quite a bit more for this one. But it is a cool uniform, and I, I definitely think it's it's a it's nice, it's good quality, it's worth it. Now that it's summer, uh, I have a lot more time to make videos and like do different types of videos that I couldn't really do in the winter or while school was in. So if you want, we can I can do videos like uh, camping with the or like one night in the Zeltbahn and such like that. So leave a comment if you'd like to see that kind of video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check out our Instagram, so I'm going to plug that every single video. Uh, link, again, you guessed it, it'll be in the description. So yeah, leave a comment, like, subscribe, have a nice day. Das Vidyanya Tovarish.